Hello there, Dr. M here. Today I'm going to talk about my experience with the LG Stylo 6. Why do they call it Stylo 6? It has a stylus built into it. It's not a Bluetooth stylus, just a regular one. But when you pull it out, the notepad comes on. Here's the stylus. So let's say you go to a Trump rally and he happens to pass you and you hand him the stylus on the phone and then he can sign it for you. Donald J. Trump or whoever else you might meet that you'd want to get the autograph from. The Stylo 6 has a huge 6.8 inch screen, which is 1080 by 2460 pixels. The memory is three gigabytes of RAM. The main camera is 13 megapixels with some options in terms of three different lenses you can use. Battery is huge, 4000 mAh. The phone when this is being recorded at the end of the summer of 2020 is available only through certain phone companies like Metro PCS or Cricut Wireless, but it should soon be available as an open phone to buy at your favorite place like Best Buy or Amazon. The model I'm showing has 64 gigabytes of memory, but you can put in a memory card and expand that tremendously. There's a wide camera of 13 megapixels, ultra wide of 5 megapixels at 120 degrees, LED flash, panorama, high definition recording of 1080p at 30 FPS, which is fairly good for a phone in this mid $200 price range, which it is again at the time this is being recorded. There is a fingerprint reader in the back, as you can see, and it's right there. Back is kind of like a metallic look. It's with, with like a glass covering over it, so it's pretty cool. Although the 6.8 inch screen seemed appealing at first, it is large, especially if you don't have a very large hand. You can see that if I hold this for a while or hold it up to my ear, after 20 minutes, the hand is really starting to hurt. So you'd have to use a headphone, especially if you have a smaller hand, or use the uh, speakerphone. Um, as far as going into a man's pocket is concerned, it takes up most of the length of the uh, pocket. So it's not comfortable, particularly if you're wearing shorts where the pockets are smaller than regular pants. It sometimes when I get up, it falls out. Uh, so I have a screen protector on it. So the screen size might be a little too big for a phone, but great for watching videos or gaming or other things where the uh, screen would be of utmost importance. Now I'd like to show you some videos and some still pictures taken with the 13 megapixel rare camera. I didn't use the wide or the very wide. I just used it as a regular photo with no changes to the settings. Just use it on automatic. Considering that I'm walking, the stabilization on this uh, phone camera is fairly good. Oh, 
Overall, I'm enjoying the phone. The speed at which it operates is pretty good, despite that it has three gigabytes of RAM instead of four. The only reservation I have is I think it's a little too big for me personally, but it's a good phone otherwise. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.